Hello, 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 and welcome to My Master, your cultural game show where you learn, play, and win every single day. And I'm your host, Kalenga Muranga. Are you ready to learn, play, and win on My Master? If you are, gather your family and let's get started. As we always like to say, My Master prides itself in all things Zambian. So what we do is that we showcase one minute video clips on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page, My Master Zambia, or you can catch it live here with me on TV2 at 1840. And what do we show in these video clips? We show you interesting facts and tidbits about our culture, our history, our heritage, anything interesting about Zambia you can watch on My Master. So something fun for you to do with your family. But always make sure to take, take particular attention to the videos that you're watching because the question and the answer is embedded in the quiz. So what do you do? You get the right answer. From there, you play and you participate. That's what you want to do. So when you participate, what happens? Well, your mobile money provider is going to send you a pop-up. And before you do that, you need to make sure that you send the correct answer, A, B, or C, to 8050 via Zamtel or MTN, okay? So for you to participate, you send the correct answer from the video, A, B, or C, to 8050 via Zamtel or MTN. And then from then on, your mobile money provider is going to send you a pop-up asking you whether you want to pay 10 kwacha. That's all it is. It's only 10 kwacha to participate in MindMaster. But make sure you have a little bit more than 10 kwacha because you know what? The more times you play, the higher the chances you have of actually winning. So play more times. What do you do after that? So now when you send when you send the correct answer, A, B, or C, and you make sure that you pay your 10 kwacha, what happens after that? Your mobile service provider alerts us and we enter you in the draw and you stand a chance to win 10 pin daily or a car every month or a house every single year. Now, that not that fantastic? So what we're going to do right now is that we need to give our yesterday's winner her 10,000 kwacha. Ruth, please come up. Social distancing. Please give her a check. We don't want to keep her waiting. Ma we na ten pini. Zuko mkuani. Ah zuko mo. Mzambo kungote au mzali kila pamoja. Au mzambo te. Mugazi te yaka. Mzambo te. Manje muzi ba ti manje. Ah pape ma we na ten pini. Manje this month end mukati bro tuza kufaka bond. Awe sini zozi ba pa manje na zozi ba. So mugazi miki na shaw. Month end muta mbega. Musaidia kute ba month end muta mbega. Because munga we na motok. Mwanve. Zuko muna. Ah zuko. Mai taonga. Zuko. 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 <laughs> that is Ruth. She won herself 10,000 kwacha and she is now eligible for the card draw and that could be you. Don't waste a moment. Okay, so we don't want to waste any more moments. Do you think you can win today's 10,000 kwacha? What we're going to do to refresh our minds is play yesterday's question and give you the correct answer. Who prepares the monitor lizard in the Lozi culture? A, women, B, men, or C, children? And I'll read it again. Who prepares the monitor lizard in the Lozi culture? And the correct answer is B, the men. There you have it, family. If you send in B as the correct answer, then you stand a chance to win 10 pin yamen nilelo. No hesitation. And if you win 10 pin, you are eligible for the card draw. So what we're going to do right now is go straight to the draw and see. Maybe you could be the lucky winner. Okay, we're dialing the number now. And it's ringing. You've got 15 seconds to pick Hello? up. Hello, this is Mind Master. Hello. Hi, congratulations, my dear. You've won yourself 10,000 kwacha. Thank you, Diva. Thank you, Diva. Thank you, Diva. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> But you did the right thing for participating, and then Jesus gave you the money. Are you happy? I'm so happy. Congratulations again. And where are you from, my dear? Thank you, Lord. Where are you from? Hello, where are you from? I'm so happy. I know. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. Where are you from? Which town are you from? I'm from Zanmoane. You're from Zanmoane? Okay, congratulations, my dear. No, congratulations yet again. So what we're going to do is that keep watching the show. Right after the show, our producers will call you to discuss how they'll give you your money, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're very welcome, thank my dear. Lord. God bless you. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lord. Bye-bye. Bye, dear. <laughs> She's definitely very, very cheerful. Congratulations to her again. And she's from Zanimone. She has just won herself 10,000 kwacha unexpectedly. Something that she wanted. That could be you. So what we're going to do right now is play, is, play, what, is play tonight's video. And we're taking you to Mansa. How about that? Before colonial times, Mbala was the village of Chief Zombe on the Lucheche River became the focus of British interest as a result of travels by the explorer David Livingstone, the first European to visit the area in the 1860s and other missionaries. Following these explorations, decisions were taken to strengthen the imperial presence south of the Lake Chila and prevent other colonial powers establishing a foothold there. As a result, the colonial era began in Mbala in 1893, earlier than in most other areas of what would become Zambia when Hill Marshall was sent by Johnston as the British consul for the area. During World War I, Mbala was a focus of the unsuccessful British military effort to defeat Germany General von Leto Vorbeck's Germany army and British forces were concentrated there. After Germany's surrender in Europe, von Leto Vorbeck formally surrendered at Mbala on 25 November 1918, though he had agreed a ceasefire at the Chambeshi River 250 kilometers south nine days earlier. A memorial marks the spot of the formal surrender about two kilometers southwest of the center of Mbala. Following the surrender ceremony, the Germany troops were ordered to throw their weapons into Lake Chila. Polish refugees from General Anders' army arrived there during World War II and were housed in a camp. A cemetery with Polish tombstones testifies to their past presence. After Zambia's independence in 1964, the name of the town was changed back to Bala. Name the town where the Germans officially surrendered to the British in Zambia. A. Bala, B. Bulungu, or C. Kasama. Okay, so what you need to start doing right after the show, 1851, start sending the correct answer to 8050 via Zamtel or MTN. And remember, only send A, B, or C. You've got 24 hours before we close, which is 6 p.m. tomorrow. Make sure you send the correct answer for you to stand a chance to win 10,000 kwacha just like that. I'm Kalenga Vanga. See you tomorrow.